Can I get my kids to give up this crate of tech for a whole year with a puppy? And I have tried everything to get my kids off their tech devices. Uh, mate, what are you doing? No, I ain't gonna find it. You, you're not gonna find... <laughs> mm. When they're eating, when they're doing their homework, when they're outside playing. In the good old days, it was a happy mayhem of fun and laughter. But now it's just this. So I've decided I'm gonna raise my fatherly voice, bang my fist, put my foot down, get my kids off technology for a whole year with this super cute, actually no, this super cute, no, no, not that one, this super cute puppy. The truth is it ain't gonna be any of those fairy little bundles of joy. You see, my kids don't know about my cunning plan to get them off tech with this puppy. I don't even know if it's the right reason to do it yet, which is why I wanna run through them with you. But if you've seen episode one of this series, you'll remember that when it comes to animals, my family is a little bit different to others. We've had or still have goats. They can do something funny. Hello. <laughs> my name's Donkey. <laughs> parrots, carrots, lizards. <laughs> Not carrots, cats, lizards, chickens, hedgehogs, insects, fish, dagoes, rabbits, alpacas, hamsters, rats, snakes, and guinea pigs. Not to mention my wife being an Australian wildlife rehabilitator. So rest assured, if we do bribe our kids off technology for a whole year with a little puppy, it will be loved for the rest of its life. Now, I'm, I'm certainly not tech adverse. You're never gonna catch me saying, in the good old days, we used to roll around in the filth outside. We didn't have cyberbullying. Oh no, we used to wait behind the bike sheds and we'd go and- Oh no, I recognize that every generation is different. It's called progression, right? It's just- Everything needs to be done in moderation. In Australia, the government says for children and young people, limit sedentary recreational screen time to no more than two hours per day. <laughs> But teens are actually spending up to nine hours a day. But that's okay, right? Because social media was built to help people stay connected and bring us closer together with the people that matter to us. Yeah, when a family have their own map pins, drastic times, drastic measures. So I think now's about the time we should have that responsible conversation with my wife about whether we should actually get a dog or not. Hey, uh, hello. Hello. You want to get a dog? A dog. Yeah, that was a bit of a loaded question. Yeah, you want to get a dog? Yeah, sure. <laughs> awesomeness, but it ain't happening if the kids aren't keen. Hey kids, you got a sec? What would it take to get you off technology? Completely off technology. Unlimited supply of spicy chicken wings. We are reasoning with a nine year old. Would you come off TV, Xbox, PlayStation, Frog, a little cute puppy? No. I've been going on for so long about getting a puppy, I was convinced he'd say yes. What about you, would you do it? Would you do it for like six months? That's half a year. Yeah, I know what six months is. <laughs> it was clearly time to up the negotiations. It was still a year, but it's not everything. You still get to watch Netflix and you can go on YouTube, but no more time on the tablet, Xbox, PlayStation for a year. Yes. You, you'd do that for a cute little puppy? Yes. You would. Shake hands on it. What about you? Deal done and dusted. He even drew up a written agreement. So now mum was in agreement, the kids were in agreement, and my kids would no longer be tech zombies. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? There are two ways to get a dog where we live, through the dog shelter, which was our preferred option, or privately through a site such as Gumtree. So we spent a night on Gumtree looking for collies. Remember Laddie? Yeah, well, Laddie is a reason why I want a collie. Dog like this you have to feed every day. That's right, and we found a litter to two working farm border collies about an hour's drive into the Aussie Outback countryside. Why do we want a dog? Because I've been asking you for years to get a dog. And this is where the story really begins. Come on, Zayn, come and look. Oh, that is super cute. Hello, Oh my. So I'm normally quite a burly sounding man, so I'm just going to change the background music. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is super cute. Hello. Except for that one, I've already decided we're not getting that one. The cuteness scale for these pups were off the freaking chart and the whole family had succumbed to their pouts. I was trying to think with my head here, but not my heart, but with a face like that, the odds were clearly stacked against me. I did have a few questions, one being how big were they likely to get? Oh, is that, is that the yeah, mum or dad? The, that's the dad. That's the, the dad. Uh, oh, he's, he's quite big. Yeah, he is. Yeah, you don't say upsizing our house for a dog was not part of the plan to get my kids off tick. Anyway, how much attention do border collies need anyway? They like... 
being around people. Got to have attention, attention, attention. That was a bit of a concern. And the reason why, before Sammy came along, I was a cat person. Cats don't need pandering to 24-7. But that's when we noticed one of them was kind of chill. Yeah. Oh, the other one is to sleep. That's the one we want now. He seemed to be going with the flow, man. Like he wasn't trying too hard to impress. Oh, you wanna hang? Sure. So the decision was swiftly made. If we were gonna get one of these pups, it was gonna be this one. Which actually wasn't a difficult decision to make because this one was already sold and this one, well... We weren't gonna make a decision without visiting the local doggy shelter first. Oh my gosh, they're so noisy, can you hear them? There were heaps of doggies in Evening at home, but they were all either really big breeds or they were described as requiring a mature family. Oh, not us then. But as we strolled around, we walked by the most unassuming and seemingly adorable puppy. His name was Banjo. He was very cute, so we asked for a meet and greet, which just confirmed our suspicions that indeed he was adorable. But we were going to be a responsible family, so we kept looking, more big doggies, my wife pointing at a random whiteboard, a dog out of a Guy Ritchie film. We just kept coming back to Banjo, and it was becoming more apparent that the toss-up now was between the cute border collie that we'd seen earlier or adorable Banjo. And that's when a staff member gave us some news that made a decision for us, and I filmed it, but then this happened No! So I'm just going to fast forward to the decision we made by the end of the day. Well, later that afternoon, our new papa, Bailey, was getting showered with love in our lounge room at home. Basically, the doggy shelter told us that Banjo was actually quite poorly due to his crossbreeding and would be better suited for a mature family till he was older. Earlier on, we went out shopping for doggy toys and food and a bed and we got a puppy gate for him and then my wife and I collected him and brought him back home. Now I don't want to be a mood killer here, but just a quick reminder that my kids were about to be fed the coldest technology turkey they'd never had, but I played along nonetheless. Roll over. Scratch. Good boy. Do a flip. Who says do a flip? Do a flip! Yeah! But a deal's a deal, and per written and signed agreement, the kids handed over their tech and it was to be placed in a safe place for the next 52 weeks. Week one, we let Bailey mellow into his new family. Week two, we failed to teach him to catch a ball. By week three, we toilet trained him. Week four, I discovered dogs take humans for walks. Week five, and I discovered that puppies chew everything. Two grand's worth of decking in two weeks just gone. And I do mean everything. Week six was a good week. I looked on at my son blissfully teaching Bailey new tricks like rolling over and jumping over things. And it was at that point that I thought I'd ask him if he still thought it was worth giving up his tech. There you go, see? Isn't that much more fun than playing on your tablet? Apparently not, he was missing his tablet. You miss it? Yeah. What did you miss about his tablet? The game. What, what? Now as a father and a person brought up in guilt, I could have easily given in. Well, well let's just play Fruit Ninja in real life. What? So we went down to the creek and we made ourselves some mean looking swords. <laughs> that was pitiful. Mm, a bit better. Oh dear. Now it's my turn. Yeah! Oh, my shot is bored. Clicked away. Unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> no, bitch. Ow. Week seven, and he's still chewing the decking. Week eight, and it became apparent that the whole stinky dog fart thing isn't a myth. God. Oh. 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 Bailey. The fart machine. Revenge back at Bailey for farting at us all the time. Laughing. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're so old. You're so old. You're so old. Did you fart? <laughs> Week nine. Oh, just let me eat guilt free. Go away. Week ten, and the dog had chewed all my shoes. Give me my flip flop. Give me my. Oi. Back. Week 11, my boy's comment about missing his tablet was niggling at me and I wondered if I had taken this too far. So I thought I'd go out and ask some random people what they thought. What breed is he? He's a border collie. Oh. I'm thinking of bribing my kids for a whole year off technology. Yeah. In return for this little puppy. Do you think it's worth it? Yes. Oh my God. It is worth it? Oh, he's so cute. Come on then. Bye. Come on. For this puppy. 100%. Definitely. 100%. You don't think that's unreasonable? No way. Kids should be outside walking the puppy. If they don't do that, you can come to my house. Maybe I should be asking kids. Really? Oh, yeah. Did you? Do you think that's reasonable? Oh, man, a whole year. A whole, is that too much? What, what do you reckon, Jack? Would you do it? I would. You would? Yes, you I would. would. <laughs> He's so cute. 
Have fun, Bailey. See you later. Bye. Bye. Week 12 has arrived through all his incessant squeaky toys in the bin. Week 13, we started working out together. One, two, one. Week 14, and with no military training, I've become an expert minesweeper. Basically, you just had to spot the swarms of flies. And now picking up poo is a part of everyday life, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just William. Come on, read our resident pet, William Snakespear. Looking out onto the English countryside, and you may spot a bunny, robin, or squirrel. In Australia, snakes come hunting down your pets. Bailey would be a nice sized snack for William. Mmm, I can smell dog. Yum, 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 yum. Week 15, we discovered Bailey had a talent for singing. Week 16, I taught him an old Australian bush trick. And week 17, he started hanging out with some of the other pets in the house, like Goldie, our blue tongued lizard, who thinks she's another Loki, and Sammy, our evil cat. We wouldn't need David Attenborough to tell us that these two would clearly not really get along. Or did we? <coughs> we live in a semi-rural area, and as such, our internet usage is meter, just like your water or your power is. Today, I received our internet bill, and it said we'd gone over our quota. It wasn't me, and it wasn't my wife, so which child wasn't living up to the contract while we were out? I can assure you there'd be repercussions, so the first thing I did was check our indoor security cameras. And what I saw on camera beggars belief. I don't think there's a single word in the English Oxford Dictionary that can describe what I saw. Speaking of dictionaries, I'm on the mission of my life to replace this horribly overused and abused word, and I want to replace it with this word, shmup shmibe. Say it with me, shmup shmibe. I've even got a petition going on, but I need a million shmup shmibers for any chance of getting it into the Oxford Dictionary. So help a brother out here, let's replace that dirty, dirty word. So I check our security cameras and what do I see? Bailey, Sammy and Goldie sitting on my sofa drinking my beer streaming smut on TV. I had no doubt who the ringleader was because when I checked more footage, I saw this. Sammy, what's this? Yeah. Oh, um, Bailey's in the kids' tablet. What? Turns out, while I've been working hard on this video, Bailey's been on the kids' tablets and watching TV. There was nothing they said in the agreement to say he couldn't use tech. And since he'd eaten the contract, it was now deemed null and void. So to answer the question, can you bribe your kids off tech for one year with a puppy? No. No, you can't. It's in their DNA. Simply put... Life, uh, finds a way. But Bailey has brought us closer together as a family and as such the kids are spending less time on their tech. We're laughing more, we're going out more and the kids have come out of their shells. They've learnt to be responsible, giving him walks and cleaning up his poo and patience through the tricks that they've taught him. And Bailey has reciprocated through his loyalty and unconditional love that he provides to us. And as for me, well I've lost two kilos since we got Bailey and yes he's brought me peace of mind. And though I may have failed at getting everyone off their tech, I've succeeded at bringing us closer nonetheless. I've learned that dogs are more than pets, they become family, that cats and dogs can finally get along, and to never stick a camera down a dog's ear when it's sound asleep. They don't really like that. You can watch episode one on how I've turned my life around by the link in the description. Oh, and uh, don't forget to shmup shmup. Aren't you just fed up of YouTubers asking you to subscribe? Don't forget to like my video. Please give me a thumbs up, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Ugh. You know, the word subscribe makes me sick. It makes me just want to skip to someone else's video straight away. So my promise to you is that I will never utter the word subscribe on this vlogging channel from this day forward. I will, however, ask you to shmup shmup. channel. All I'm gonna say is that it rhymes with schmup schmup.